Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Your Singh here back from CNH Smallens again for a uh, another informative video. This one deals uh, specifically with uh, Briggs and Stratton uh, types of engines out here. Uh, in front of me, I got uh, four um, intake uh, tubes as they call them for the, uh, the Briggs and Stratton engine. These actually sit behind your carburetor. Uh, these are the uh, what you want to call the intake manifold where it actually bolts onto the um, the cylinder itself under for that and uh, we had a, a few jobs here this past uh, year or here and uh, they're, they're having problems with the manifolds and I just want to make a, a quick video about the specific issues uh, we noticed uh, that I'd say about three or four jobs we had this year they were all on the same specific type of uh, engine which was a, a log splitter or some other type of like a um, a log splitter or a, uh, a wood chip or one of those machines you uh, uh, you know, like put small branches inside and stuff like that and uh, I just want to make a video what I actually find out over here about it. Uh, it seems like specifically uh, these engines are more prone to having this happen because um, I haven't ever had to, had to replace one maybe about one time on a lawnmower probably about, probably about eight years it actually cracked on me over here for that and uh, I just want to make a video for it so uh, be wary of that if you do have a Briggs and Stratton engine on a, uh, a log splitter or possibly a wood chipper because uh, they seem to be subject to more like a high stress or high vibration for some weird reason I really don't know why either because of either some kind of a vibration from the uh, the chipper or from the actual log splitter setup they have on them and what I have in front of me here is uh, the one that was actually split in half right here you can see it here the intake uh, pipe right here for that and this is what they uh, normally, basically what, what happens is these things vibrate so much that um, it basically splits in half since they're only plastic on them right there. And this is like another variation right here. This one's uh, similar to this one right here. Uh, these ones uh, all were actually taken off. This one right here was actually taken off a lawnmower. And these other two were taken off other uh, lawnmowers out here as well too. Uh, they do make different variations of these things out here and some will not fit on other applications. You can actually see this one right here. It got a nice big, uh, it looks like it's like milled that on the top of the plastic on there for that. And this one has a completely different head uh, design on her as opposed to these two on the left hand side for that and they're basically set for different applications out here as well you can see it underneath here as well too they do have different patterns on here where this one has a big scoop and you put an insert right here on this side right here to take up the gap for that where these ones do not have the same setup you can actually see it on here this one's flat this one's curved and the other one's curved too on here as well too so let me see the other one here. This one's also curved on here as well, too. Uh, the engine I'm talking about is the Briggs and Stratton 6 horsepower. Uh, the ones that seem to be more prone and problematic to actually breaking these intake pipes is the uh, the 12H702. I got it right down here. 12H702-1717-B1. Uh, the one I'm working on right now, it's a buddy of mine. It is a uh, uh, 2002 uh, model your engine on on this specific one right here. I'm actually talking about that uh, currently is, is in our shop right now It's a log splitter made by Husky and it has the Briggs and Stratton engine on it for that and uh, Unfortunately the intake pipe on his was actually cracked in half and uh, because it was vibrating so much I don't know what exactly happened, but the uh, the engine mounting bolts were nice and tight on the uh, frame monitor, so there's no problem with those at all on there. So somehow, for, for whatever reason, it seems to be uh, these engines they put on either the log splitter or the uh, the wood strip chipper. For some weird reason, this this same um, series of uh, engines seem to be having more problems than your typical uh, lawnmower um, style engines. Either for I don't know if they have a different. Uh, different system on here or some kind of a, I, I, I honestly don't know that's why I'm this is the first time I ever ran into an issue with this in the past maybe eight years because normally uh, if you look at your typical engine like that the lawnmower engine they hardly ever break I only replaced maybe one in about eight years on a typical lawnmower engine that has the Briggs and Stratton over uh, the Briggs and Stratton, I see a flat, a flathead engine or four of that, and it was because of a defect from the manufacturer when they, they had, a, they had some kind of recall or TSB on it. But uh, in the past year, we had three machines with the identical engine on them: the uh, 12H 
702-1717-B1. Uh, the 12H702, each one of those engines had the same exact problem. It cracked the intake manifold on it, as, I, as you see right here, for whatever reason. I looked on Briggs & Stratton's website. They didn't have any TSBs or any recalls or anything else like that. So it may be something uh, wrong with the, uh, the the manufacturing process of the uh, the part, or the or there might, there might be something different about uh, the application or whatever. But I, I honestly don't know because uh, plastic uh, does vibrate a lot more than your your typical metal. Because uh, I'd say back in the 70s and 80s, these intake tubes were all metal on here, and uh, they basically cheapened them up by by making them plastic now on them for that and. Uh, plastic does crack uh, over time. It'll start cracking on there if uh, you have a lot of vibration being put on it. And I don't, I don't know if I'm, I'm the only guy either that has problems with these uh, specific intake tubes on the specific application for your uh, wood chipper or your log splitter out there for that. So if anybody has any information or, or, or if anybody else might have had a similar problem such as I have right here, just like past, you know, like, just like just like tell them your experience possibly and if uh you find out maybe some kind of a, a corrective action to uh your uh, like maybe some kind of an updated part or updated part and ever because I, I looked everywhere online for some kind of a tsb or recall for these uh specific tubes but i could not find anything all i did was find your typical uh new oem replacement for the uh cracked pipe right here as well too so if anybody has any questions about that, just like drop me a line here, drop me a message on my page here, and just give me some information if you, if you do know anything about that. So it would definitely help me out and probably help a bunch of other people out who maybe have a similar problem. I'll see you guys.